Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about the best text-to-speech for the next year, for this 2022. If probably you are, have been looking for some softwares that can help you to have the best audio out from the, your text, well, I will give here my opinions on the text-to-speech software that are available. And probably you have already heard about Speechelo, Takia, and some other tools. And basically, the most tools that are available, including mine, you can check out my text-to-speech software as well. I will leave down the link in the description. They basically use the technologies from Microsoft, Google Cloud, IBM, Amazon Poly, and there are some other, uh, even from Yandex, or also from, I, I do think also from Alibaba. And they offered different sounds in their text to speech. And actually, you can, you probably might be seen more often as a trend in this next year that most apps will start using text to speech to include like a extra feature. And basically, if you go directly either to Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, IBM, and Amazon Poly, they give uh, some types of advices or the tips or how to, or the documentation on how to create or use the text-to-speech software that they have from their cloud services so that you can use the different text-to-speech software that are available. And for starters, therefore, either you can try to build up your own app or you can go and search for these solutions that are already available. So I will start talking about Takia. Takia has its downloadable software. You can have it straight directly in your PC or Mac, and you can start creating here the software. The thing with Takia is that they use mainly Google and Amazon Poly. And probably the advantage in comparison between Takia and Speechelo is that here in Takia with the with the basic plan, you can actually start having some WaveNet or artificial intelligence improved voices. So just this video can take longer if I keep, keep listening to any voice and creating text. But just for the matter of showing you, let's listen. This is a preview of my voice using the Takia software. And I will use the Amazon Police WaveNet. This is a preview of my voice using the Takia software. And they will have, have a wide variety in their standard plan between male and female voices. You can see here the one that says Germany. Actually, these are more like German voices. Here in the previews, they have English, an English text. Let's listen. This is a preview of my voice using the Tokia software. That's merely because in reality, this is a German voice. It should be used for German text. But they do have English voices, like in the case here of Emma. This is a preview of my voice using the Tokia software which is less robotic. And I do think that the main advantage of Takia is that if you're looking for something that it's downloadable, then this could be a good option. And they have a really nice user interface where you can change here the pitch and the speed of the text that you're writing here. So let's change here to a male voice. Let's set it to Michael. And in case that you need to translate, you can actually also do it here directly. I will change later. Hello, I am Carlos. Okay, so I'll choose one in Spanish. Actually, Miguel, it's a Spanish voice, although it says it's from the United States. And I will just Use a translate text, translate from English.
translate to Spanish. And that's another advantage about Takia that in case that you want to create voices in different languages, it includes already a translation service here and you can just try it out. Hola, soy Carlos. And there will be also for Italian, French, Japanese, in case that you're looking for some other types of languages. And in case that you want to mix, that's another advantage here with Takia. You can just add the audio here. You can just set up here. Also one background music from theirs and just insert the audio. And you can create a longer audio out of your text. Hola, soy Carlos. And this is just a merely example. But honestly, here on the quality of the voices, they use Google and Amazon Poly. And I still find it some of them robotic. They're okay for simple uses. But I consider even better Microsoft's or IBM voices even, even better. So let's head out now to Speechello. Speechello is way better on its pro plan. You'll have to, Speechello is based on standard pro plan, or you can also include this add-on of worldwide if you want to include the translation option. So that's a big difference between Tokyo and, and Speechello. The main advantage here with Speechello is that they just set out like 20,000 characters limits for one time or around 500,000 characters per month or 7,000. It, it depends on the plan that you choose. So that's uh, probably the main advantage. You, well, you pay around 150 for the whole package of Speechel and Speechel Pro, but you have the access merely for lifetime. So you don't really have to worry about the characters. And also you will have access to the different AI voices according to the language that you choose. So I will go back again in the English example. You just choose the AI voice and let's try to listen. Hello, I am Billy. This is a preview for full but let's compare with the standard voice. Hello, I am Billy. This is a preview for... It was totally different, even though it was the same. There was like more of a stop between the words. So it was even clear the voice here in the artificial intelligence. And so we can go and test out the voices from from Speechello, I have plenty of videos where you can check out different languages and also the English language to really listen. Of course, they, I have received the comments that there are some not really good, like in the Turkish language or even the Polish language. But I do think that from the standard, comparing between only the standard and the AI voice, of course, the artificial intelligence voice, it's, it's even better. And now talking about my own software, and it's not just because it's mine, but it includes and incorporates the Microsoft Azure and the IBM voices. So if you're looking for these options, it is possible in my software. You can just sign up for free and test it out. And here in the dashboard, you can check out the languages that I, that I have. Let's go back here to English. And here you can see on the left side, the service that is being to be chosen. Here are the neural voices or the artificial intelligence voices are the improved ones. Here you have also the Google Cloud, 
the Amazon Azure, and the IBM. So let's have a test. It's very simple, guy. Let's. Hello, I am a guy. And we can just check out the different voices. There's also the controls that you can use here. As you can see here, you have to click and it will add the code. So the text should be here, right inside here. So in comparison with Tokyo, it's, it's probably even better just to switch out the pitch and it will, you don't have to see that code here. You just change it. Or you have here the buttons to add it, to make the changes. And here you have to do a little bit of coding. So that's probably a disadvantage here on my software. But the main advantage is here, let's listen more deep, is that the artificial intelligence voices from Amazon Azure, and Google Cloud, and IBM are available, especially the... So let's listen here. Hello. You can use any of our voices to synthesize your text as needed. And if you don't want that, you can preview other ones. Hello, you can use any of our voices to synthesize your text as needed. I Let's use here a female voice. Hello, you can use any of our voices to synthesize your text as needed. There are some that are still robotic, but as in the case of the Spanish voices, they are even closer, I, I do think. And probably in the next year, I will keep adding the new voices that Microsoft Azure are delivering especially for other languages and other countries. And as mentioned, here is Twinkle. Twinkle is actually a, more of an audio library where you can download different music or soundtracks or music effects that you might need for your videos. But as you can see here, they added also a text-to-speech software to have this extra feature, of course. It's more appealing for a software to say, okay, you cannot, we also include this feature, but honestly, this is uses the standard voices. Let's listen. Hello, I am Donald. I am from the United States. And this is, of course, merely robotic. Another example that you can actually download for free, uh, but you will need some probably more configuration if you want the advanced uh, features. It's Balabolka. This has also the standard voices for free, but uh, you will have to download and you will have to do the setup for yourself. But this is another text-to-speech software that you can use and you can set up for yourself. So that's the advantage when you when you use here one of the softwares like Speechello, my text-to-speech software of Takia. You basically don't have to do any more configuration. And but here with Balabolka, you will have to dig deeper on the text-to-speech software technologies. So if you want to listen more about the voices, you can check out the other videos or visit my website at ttsparasacarlos.com. I will leave the link in the descriptions. If you have some comments, questions, don't hesitate to write down. Thanks for watching.